the British Army displayed its new cutting-edge Arjux armored tracked fighting vehicle at the Lulworth Range on July 13, 2023, as part of a larger demonstration of modern military equipment and capabilities. The demonstration, serving as a preview to the forthcoming Defense Command paper refresh, was attended by notable figures including Minister for the Armed Forces James Heapy, Chief of the General Staff General Sir Patrick Sanders, and Chief of the Defense Staff Admiral Sir Tony Radakin. In a multi-domain immersive experience, a variety of military equipment was showcased, highlighting the integrated tactics and combined arms warfare currently being employed by the British Armed Forces. However, the star of the show was undeniably the Arjux Armoured Fighting Vehicle, which demonstrated its combat prowess and advanced technology to an enthusiastic audience. The Arjux, one of the most advanced armoured fighting vehicles in the world, was specifically designed to provide enhanced survivability, all-terrain mobility, and firepower. It is highly versatile, designed to support British armed forces across a range of missions, in all types of terrains and environments. The demonstration of the Arjux and other military hardware was a prelude to the anticipated Defence Command paper refresh, an important government document that outlines the strategic direction and priorities for the British military. This refresh is expected to highlight key areas of development and investment, which may include further support for advanced equipment such as the Arjux vehicle. Such a demonstration ahead of the Defence Command paper refresh sends a clear signal about the UK's military capabilities and ambitions. The Arjux is a prime example of our commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge, fully integrated force capable of meeting future challenges, said James Heapy, Minister for the Armed Forces. The demonstration served as a reminder of the continued modernization of the British military, and the ongoing efforts to improve integrated tactics and combined arms warfare. It also provided an opportunity to engage with the public and stakeholders, emphasizing the UK's commitment to defense and security in an increasingly complex global environment. The Arjux Armoured Vehicle Project is an ambitious initiative undertaken by the British Army, marking a major step towards modernizing its armoured capabilities. Commissioned from General Dynamics, the Arjux project represents a series of six different vehicle variants, Arjux, Ars, Apollo, Athena, Atlas, and Argus, each specifically designed for distinct roles on the battlefield. The Arjux serves as the primary reconnaissance and strike vehicle in the series, equipped with a turret for enhanced firepower. The Ars variant, on the other hand, is designed as an armored personnel carrier, APC, enabling safe and swift transport for troops across battlefields. Further supporting military operations, the Apollo variant acts as a repair and recovery vehicle, equipped with a variety of tools necessary for field vehicle repairs. The Athena variant stands as a central command and control unit, featuring advanced communications and planning equipment to facilitate efficient control of forces during engagements. Providing combat engineering support, the Atlas variant is designed with a dozer blade and an excavator arm. Lastly, the Argus variant functions as an equipment support recovery vehicle, aiding in field operations where equipment recovery is needed. The Arjux vehicles are meticulously designed for enhanced survivability, excellent mobility across diverse terrains, and significant firepower. They are equipped with a 40mm autocannon capable of firing at an impressive rate of 200 rounds per minute, alongside a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. They can also be outfitted with anti-tank or surface-to-air missiles. One key feature of the Arjux is its advanced suite of sensors for surveillance and target acquisition, which makes it an extraordinary tool for reconnaissance missions. From a defensive standpoint, the Arjux boasts robust protection against a variety of threats including kinetic, blast, IEDs, mines, and RPGs. The vehicle's modular armor can be upgraded as required, ensuring its resilience in the face of evolving battlefield threats.